Thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Chrissy and I'm an earth science teacher. And I thought for today's video that I would bring you along my day. So this is the day in the life of a high school earth science teacher. The first thing I do when I come into my room is set up my computer and put away my lunch. Okay, I have to make a copy. We are working on um, the last part of our station models today. So I'm gonna go make a copy, fill up my water, and then check my emails. Copies are um, a higher priority than everything else because once the other teachers get in there, um, it can take a while. So let's go. All right, just as I feared, the uh, copier machine was in use. That's why you make your copies um, not the day of, but I am learning. And also this was just a last minute thing, um, but I still have time. I have about 30 minutes. Um, it's 8.47 right now. I probably got in around 8.30. Um, that's when I usually get in. So I will um, just set up everything that I need to. School starts around 9.15. Um, so again, I have about like 30 minutes to get that done and also to set up the front of the room. So let's, let's go do that. So this is midday Chrissy answering any questions. I was going to do a voiceover, but this is just going to be easier. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I had a kid literally as soon as I, um, uh, was about to create the other video of me changing everything up front. I had a kid knock on the door and want to um, just hang out in my room. So it just goes to show, if you teach high school and you make good connections, you will you will have kids that want to say hi to you, but they're gonna wanna say hi for like 30 minutes. <laughs> um, Cause I, I that was around 8, 8.45 and, and class starts at 9.15. So love that kid, really sweet kid. But um, of course, of all days, it was the day that I was going to film, which as you know, I don't do <laughs> as often. Um, but uh, once he came in the room, I did change the board, put everything up, and um, also cleaned up a little bit at the front. So that's kind of what I do in the morning is I just um, get myself set up and then say hi to my kids and whatnot, which isn't as big of a deal when I'm not filming. <laughs> Also, today's an A day, so on A days we teach blocks one through four, and on B days we teach blocks five through eight. So I am teaching blocks one and two, and then I have my planning block third, and then I teach fourth. So that's how today is going to be laid out. I don't think I said it before, um, so I wanted to throw this in here real quick. Let's look at the weather for today. The weather is um, doing something really cool. It relates to our lesson today. Sunny, I can see a lot of sky. There are some clouds. Additionally, we do have a cold front moving through. Make sure you have your packets out. We're gonna be completing our packets for today. We already learned about what meteorology is, but we're gonna be touching upon these two terms, climate and weather today. Can you uh, remember the difference between climate and weather? And if you can, Say it in your own words. Climate is the long term and weather is the short term. Awesome. Climate is the long term. Weather is the short term. Perfect. So we're going to talk about all these. We're going to talk about what influences climate. And then we're going to talk about how climate influences weather. Okay. All right. So it's lunchtime right now. I just taught first and second block. Um, I'm going to eat my lunch. I have, it looks a little messy, but hang on. Probably still pretty to hopefully look at boom it's just a sweet potato black bean burrito bowl um, and then i have some strawberries on the side i'm gonna go eat that in the lunch room so i'm back from lunch um and now i'm in our prep room someone is in my classroom for um study hall uh so therefore i just stay in here i'm out of their way um but i did want to clean up what i had used the other day um i used a whole bunch of these sling psychrometers this one is broke. Um, so I went through before and I um, took out all the ones that were broke and I kind of pieced together the ones that are salvageable. And um, I now have a pile, but I also have a pile of um, empty, <laughs> empty tubes. So I'm going to just put them all in these um, tubes and then put them back in a bin so they're nice and organized for my other colleagues to use.
I put the majority of them in the bin. These are all the ones that work. I do have one that's slightly broke or could break really easily. Um, so I'm just going to label that one as um, like use as a last resort type thing. Um, and then I do have a few that just don't have any parts how, or um, aren't a complete set. But I'm thinking of keeping that for spare parts. So that was that. Um, I really don't have much to plan because I uh, tried to plan ahead. I am starting a master's class soon and so um, since that starts next month and next month is pretty soon um, I just planned up everything so that way I could spend all my free time working on papers so I really don't have anything to plan um, I did that I cleaned up I can't really use my room because someone else is using it so I might um, I don't know I might I don't know I don't know you know what maybe I will go through some of my um, Schoology resources and I'm going to put them into a container for next year. I think that's what I'll do. But anyways, after this I teach one more block and then it's heading out time. So I probably won't get much um, in class because I'm teaching and there's kids there. But um, yeah, that's pretty much my day. Teaching, planning, teaching. All right, so as you can tell, I am home now. I'm with my little home slice maple. Look how big she's gotten. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my day. And besides the fact that there was less planning during my planning block than usual, that's pretty much the average day of a high school earth science teacher. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you again.